Hello, AP Seminar. Just a quick recording here for you in case uh, you want to be able to pause uh, this and, and review it back. Um, this is a video about how you should evaluate your sources. And in the AP Seminar world, a lot of the teachers use this acronym called CRAP Raven. So we're going to look today at Is Your Research CRAP? And we're going to use the acronym, so you see a little poop emoji here with a raven on. We'll go through this and kind of help you understand. Not something you ever have to memorize. It's just something that you might want to have the handout, that, which we have for you on the website, um, available as you're evaluating the credibility of your sources. So first thing, let's take a look at the acronym. So for CRAP Raven, for your source, we're going to take a look at if your source is current, if it's relevant, we're going to look at the author, we're going to look at the accuracy of the information and the purpose of the source. And if you take a look, inside author uh, is the raven. So we'll get that the author is so important, so important to the process that the author gets their own uh, part of the acronym. So first part of the acronym is currency. Uh, is this a current piece of information on a topic that requires a current piece of information? When was the information published or posted? That's super important. Does your topic require information to be current? Um, I'm going to give you a hint. Anything in the sciences or anything that deals with current events obviously requires more currency. In the sciences, if you're you know older than five, ten years, you want might want to be a little cautious. Uh, as to whether or not that information is in fact current enough to be used. For something like the COVID pandemic, uh, that time frame is much, much smaller. Things in March are not going to be nearly as, as important and, and reliable as things that are coming out right now. Um, so currency, think about this. The R stands for relevance. Um, is the stuff that you found tied to or related to your topic? Um, who's the intended audience? Is this for uh, other scholars, uh, which is good, that's what you want to use, or is this for um, maybe a, a middle school encyclopedia entry, which we don't really want to use. You can read that to get a general idea of the uh, topic, but we really only want to use stuff that's by and for other scholars. Um, news sites are good, but like they're still not quite as, uh, as relevant to the depth that you need in scholarly research. Um, so is the information at appropriate level? So not too elementary or too advanced for your needs. Sometimes there are scientific articles that it's like, well, yeah, I don't understand this fully enough to be able to use all of it. Now the author, like I said, the author is so important that we're gonna wanna use um, a special acronym just for the author themselves. And if you're gonna hear one thing, one thing in this video, it is that you need to be very comfortable and very used to the fact that you're going to be searching your author's name on Google to find out about them. You're gonna be looking for their reputation. Do they have a good reputation or do they have a reputation for uh, bad research? Uh, do they have the ability to observe? Do they do the research study or is this just someone who's uh, writing in a newspaper article about a study? Um, you want to go to the person who did the study, not just the person who wrote about the study. So the ability to observe. Do they have a vested interest? Are they trying to sell you something? The more they can gain from changing your opinion to theirs, the more questionable about their uh, relevance, their reliability, excuse me, that you should be. Do they have expertise? Do they have a degree in a field related to this topic or do they not? Is their degree completely separate uh, and their training completely separate from what they're trying to talk about? Are they neutral? Um, do they have bias in their, in their word choice? Are they trying to convince you of something? Um, so the better the reputation, the closer they are to the event, um, the, the less vested interest they have to change you, the less, the more neutral they are, and the more expertise they are, all of those are good signs for an author. That if they don't meet those things, the more they don't meet, the more and more you need to be sus a suspect of that author. If you hear one thing again, please hear that you should be Googling your author uh, to see if that person 
is a reliable, credible source. Okay, the other A stands for accuracy. Is this correct information? How do I know it's correct information? They can back it up with evidence. If they're just giving you an opinion that's not backed by any evidence and telling you just to believe what they say, be super suspect of this information. Has the information been reviewed by a third party? So has it been fact checked by someone? If it doesn't, they're just asking you to believe in their propaganda. Can you verify any of the information from a third source? Um, again, if they've, if they've been looked over by a third party or if you can go to another source and now they're both lining up, awesome. But if they're way over here and all the data is way over here, mm, don't. Don't trust that singleton without really good evidence or reason to do that. And the last one is purpose. Why are they writing? Um, the scholarly research that we're going to end up using in this class is written to inform in a very neutral way and it's also written uh, to share research findings. Uh, it is not trying to get you to buy anything or vote a certain way uh, or uh, profit a company. So if the purpose is to inform, that's awesome. But if you're trying to persuade or change an opinion or use propaganda, that's when you really start want, want to be very careful about using a source if they're trying to get you to feel a certain way, especially if they're trying to get you to feel a certain way without evidence or if they're using emotional pleas like fear, uh, that's when you want to be really careful. Uh, do they have a real bias? Is their institution biased? They're trying to move you over to a side without any evidence. So that's a quick introduction to Crap Raven. I'll go back to the acronym here for you. Okay. We want to make sure that our research is not crap that we're using in AP seminar uh, or at any point in time in our academic lives. Does it have currency, relevance? Is the author uh, someone that I can trust? Is the information accurate? And is the purpose of the article uh, above board? Is it trying to inform me instead of sway me? Um, those are all things. Does it have to hit all of those? No, but the more that it hits, uh, the better off you are. Hope this was helpful and you take care, APSAM.